Okay, we're still doing example problems with adding and subtracting radicals. And the ones with fractions in them are always the trickiest, so I'll talk you through a couple more examples involving the fractions. This first one we have the square root of 5 over 3 plus the square root of 5 over 12. Well, we can simplify this if we break it apart into pieces and realize that the 12 is going to have a perfect square factor. So I'm going to rewrite the problem like this square root of 5 over square root of 3 plus the square root of 5 over the square root of 12. Any fraction under a radical like that can just be broken up into a fraction involving two radicals. So that's what I've done. Now this 12 here is 4 times 3 and the 4 can come out as a perfect square factor. We've seen that a lot of times before. So let's take the problem and rewrite it as the square root of 5 over the square root of 3 uh, plus the square root of 5 over 2 root 3. And hopefully you can see the step that took me from that to that. I'll show it to you right here real quick if you don't. The square root of 12 can be written as the square root of 4 times 3 and that 4 gets square rooted and pops out front as a 2. So I can have a 2 outside the radical instead of the 4 in the radical. So I have 2 root 3 right there instead of the, the square root of 12. Now I can combine these two terms right here if they have the same denominator. And they don't quite. I have a square root of 3 here and I have a 2 square root of 3 here. But if I take this first fraction and multiply it by 2 over 2, and I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing. I've essentially multiplied this first fraction by 1, which doesn't really change it. But I now have a denominator that's the same as the other. So those two fractions can now be combined. So I get 2 root 5 plus the square root of 5 all over this denominator, 2 times the square root of 3. Now the numerator, these two terms can now be combined. They're both square root of 5 terms. 2 times the square root of 5 plus 1 times the square root of 5 will give me 3 times the square root of 5. So I have 3 root 5 over 2 root 3. And that's not too bad, but there's a problem here. We're not supposed to keep radicals in the denominator. So to get rid of that, I need to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. And then when I combine all of that, this square root of 3 and this square root of 3 on the bottom will multiply together to just give me a 3. So I'm going to end up with this 3 up top and this square root of 5 times the square root of 3 up top will give me a square root of 15. And then down on the bottom I have this 2 and this square root of 3 times the square root of 3 gives me a 3. And now this 3 up top and this 3 down below can cancel. And I end up with the square root of 15 over 2. So that ended up simplifying pretty nicely, although it took a good bit of work to get there. Okay, one more example. 1 over the square root of 3 plus 1 over the square root of 11. Well, we're not supposed to have radicals in the denominator, so I'm going to take care of each of those things. I'm going to write this as 1 over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over square root of 3 plus my second term here, which will be 1 over the square root of 11 times the square root of 11 over the square root of 11. Now let's simplify each of those just by multiplying them out. The first one becomes the square root of 3 over 3 and the second term becomes the square root of 11 over 11. Now I can combine those two if they have the same denominator and they don't, uh, but that's easy to take care of. I'm going to take this first one, the square root of 3 over 3, and multiply it by 11 over 11, and take this second term, the square root of 11 over 11, and multiply it by 3 over 3. And then when I multiply those out, I'll have a denominator of 33 in each case. So I end up with 11 root 3 
over 33 plus 3 root 11 over 33. And that's my answer. I can um, combine those as a, a single fraction, which would be 11 root 3 plus 3 root 11 over 33. And that's it. That's the result of adding those two original fractions and simplifying the result properly.